the year I was born, um, my parents were scared that uh, when my mom was about to uh, give birth to me, that um, the gorilla would like kidnap her and uh, take us hostage to some place because this, there was still some gorilla activity going on and nobody was safe at that time and it was 4 a.m. in the morning and um, so they were very careful but like when throughout my life it was mostly about um, gang members that were the ones that they were causing the most trouble but um, prior to that my mom uh, she has the most experience with the civil war um, she tells me stories of when her dad um, used to um, keep them in a safe place like near in in a rural area and uh, they had to hide from the gorilla and from uh, all the other um, people because there were like attacks and there would be fighting and guns going off and um, they told me it was a very terrible situation because they couldn't sleep at night because they were scared that they would get ambushed or something or they would just start attacking and i know um, there were a lot of deaths uh, throughout uh, in the many um, areas near us and you just hear about um, deaths and deaths and more deaths so it was really bad And when I was growing up, because um, I was born in El Salvador and raised there until I was eight years old, um, I remember seeing a lot of people who'd, who we didn't have running water every day. So uh, we had just, we got water every, once every week and we would have to gain as much water as we thought we would use for that week and then just keep it safe and hope it would last for us. And then um, <clears throat> we didn't have a phone. I remember we had like, uh, to go to the um, to the capital just to go call my dad who lived in the U.S. at this time, and um, we didn't <clears throat> we didn't have all the things that everyone had. Like we weren't socially well off. Uh, we had we lived in the country, as I said, and um, there was just it was very let's say primal, like the way we lived. And we used to cook and and using firewood and stuff like that. And we didn't have stoves. It was very um, difficult to see. Other people also were even worse off than us, who had to um, <clears throat> either some kids were would pick up trash, or they would um, go around, or they didn't have a place to live. And it was just so difficult growing up seeing all these things going around me. Whenever um, first <laughs> my grandma from my dad's side, um, they live kind of near the areas where the wealthier what the other people are and you would see the great shifts like the houses were different and just like the places where they had um, I think I've seen sometimes like the clubs they had around there and, and other places it was just so different like the big shift from going from the countryside all the way to the more elite class and things like that So today, um, I haven't been back to El Salvador in uh, six years, and the reason is that there's a lot of gang violence around, and especially in my area, kind of near the cap. We live kind of near the capital, and that's where there's a lot of people just getting into gangs, and the, it's very sad because the young people just uh, get with, withdrawn into these groups, and like they weren't, um, they would cause so much trouble. When I was little, um, I remember that once they went into our school and we would like, and I was only in third grade and I was scared that they would harm us because they had, sometimes they had guns or knives and they just scared all of us and we just ran to the classroom and I remember my, um, my teacher, um, I went into my teacher's classroom with my uh, younger brother and we just started praying because 
these gangs, gang members came and they started to threaten my teacher and we were scared they were gonna kill him right there. So uh, I think it has gotten worse where more young people, since they don't find like, I guess that sense of fitting in or they don't find a way to um, like economic, like an, a means to get financial like money or things like that, they rather go into the gangs because they find like the support, I guess, from other gang members. And it's very different and there's definitely, um, there's need for more change because there's still that political divide between the wealthy and the poor and um, you can just tell by just seeing all the people and 